After you've deployed a template, the best place to start is the book entitled One Home, which has the additional subtitle of Start by clicking it here, just in case you need a little helping nudge. Inside this book, you will find a welcome page with instruction on how to secure the plan so that you are the only person who has access to it. By default, it is available to everyone in your tenant. So it's a good idea to do this if you're going to customize the template and import your own data. You can use the next button to move on to the next tab or just click on the tab. On the introduction sheet, you'll find some information about the template and a short introductory video. Clicking next, we get to the navigating this template sheet. That's where the link to this video can be found. Lastly, there's the home page with buttons which link to all of the other books in this template. Let's look at each of these in turn. In the contribution and analysis section is the analyze and plan book. As the name suggests, it has a number of pre-built analyses populated with sample data. Take some time to understand these before customizing the template with your own structures and data. This book is located in the To Planners and Viewers folder and can be accessed directly from this folder if required. If you invite others to collaborate with this plan, then you can set permissions at a folder level. You can also set permissions at a book level as well. Putting a number of books into one folder can simplify access control. The plan page of this book is designed to allow data entry into forecast periods at a consolidated level or a detailed level, depending on your requirements. If you would like more experience with analysis and data entry techniques, there is a tutorial called One Analysis and Plan available from the Start Something New page. The next section covers administration and these books are in the Admins and Model Admins folder. The period role of a book contains information regarding administration for this specific template. Here you are guided through the different steps that would normally happen in a period rollover. You can update your versions, snapshot the plan, update products and regions. You can manually update your assumptions. You can import actuals into the latest actual months. In the rollover tab, you can set up the flag for each time period to indicate whether it's actual or forecast. Yes being actual, no being forecast. Once it's initially set up, it's just a case of rolling forward one period in the version you're working in. That will automatically cause the business rules to update, bringing actuals into actual periods and allowing data entry of volume and discount percentage into the forecast periods. The second administration book is common to all templates and allows you to configure access and rights for this template. If you didn't change the default access, which allows everyone to have access to your plan, when you initially started working with it, you can do so from this book. In addition, you can invite others initially as plan administrators, but with the capability to reduce the access as required. Access is controlled by group inside the plan. For your convenience, we've set up three, modeler, contributor and reviewer. However, at any point you can add other security groups or you can remove them, which allows you to set up the security configuration that you require. In this template, we've preset the cube access by group for the modeler, contributor and reviewer, but of course you can change those to suit your needs. It's important to understand that in order to get access to the cubes, a group needs access to the dimensions that make up that cube. Once again, we've preset those, but you can change them. Next are the books under the model understanding a one-off configuration heading. These allow you quick access to the structures that make up the plan. In the dimension book, the introductory page has a view with the full list of dimensions and hierarchies in the model. This will update if you add more dimensions and hierarchies. The other pages have the main hierarchical dimensions plus time and versions. The last tab has the system dimensions. In the cubes book, there's a flowchart to help you understand the flow of data. 
and then for each cube you have a view and then if there are rules associated with that cube the rules editor is also displayed on this page. You may need to enable line wrapping to more easily see the rules in this editor. In addition on some of the editors, you may need to scroll in order to see all of the rules. Be aware that not all cubes have rules associated with them. In the processes book, there's one main page where you review the processes. The process editor has a drop down so you can see all of the different processes that are available inside of this model. You'll be interested in reviewing the script which has got comments to explain what's happening inside this process. In addition, there may be parameters. In this example, you can see group name is a parameter. And at runtime, you get the option to enter a name for this particular security group that's being added. Some processes, such as data uploads into cubes, use a file as a data source. There's an example here in Update Actuals. The template has an example file in this process, but you can replace it with your own data file, being aware that you need to label the columns correctly and have the correct format. So in this case, we've got a number of columns there and the values column at the end. The script references those column headings. So if you use something different, the script won't work. To bring your own data source in, you go back to the data source type, select file, drag your file and drop it onto the area here, and then use the next buttons to validate it. You'll need to save the changes and then run your updated process. So in summary, we can see that from the home tab in the one home, start by clicking here book, we can navigate to all of the other books in the plan. And then from the introduction tab on that book, we can navigate either back to home or to any other book, making it easy to move around in this plan. Back on the main home page, we can see that there are a number of pop-ups with information that can help you to learn. So we already mentioned the tutorial one analysis and plan, but be aware that there are others as well. So there's an integration and automation, and there's one for modeling and one for access and rights. As you saw before, you can access those from the Welcome Start Something New page, where you've got guided tutorials, plus the currently available templates and a beginner new plan, should the templates not fit your needs. Lastly, the light bulbs also contain information specific to that book, and you can dismiss them with the close button.